Hey, 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 welcome to the DBB channel. Today we have a One Piece TCG tournament game. It's actually a surprise collect game as well. It's between me and Astra the Chess. Yes, the legendary One Piece idol. Now we are facing off the third round of Swiss and stakes are pretty high as either of us are guaranteed a top 8 chopper if we win this round. So we are facing off in the mirror Luffy game and let's dive right straight into the game itself as both of us actually do have Nami out but I do have the OP01 Nami which does actually allow me to search the top 5 and on his side, he does have the ST Nami which allows him to use the Luffy-like leader skill allowing him to put the attached Dawn, right the rested Dawn underneath one of the characters and put one to Zoro and the Zoro will swing for 6k DP I'm gonna let it go for the first one I'm gonna use Luffy to actually put himself to 6k as well I'm gonna guard with the Otama for 2k power I'm gonna go to 4 Dawn here this turn and This is where I'm most likely gonna call the Robin which I actually picked up from the Nami just now and this is where I misplayed pretty hard because I was so nervous to fight against my idol I forgot to use the leader skill to actually give him one more Dawn and this will be a 3k block instead of a 2k block which he actually got it very easily from his hand so that was pretty wasted and the Zoro is still alive for one more turn and he's definitely gonna punish me with this Zoro swing gonna call one more Nami here from the ST this allows him to actually put three rested down this turn which is pretty sick he's gonna put one rested down to the Zoro one to Luffy gonna put one more to Luffy making it a 7k and two more to Zoro so definitely getting punished right there thanks to the misplay from my side not attaching one more Dawn to the Luffy now this Zoro will be swinging for 8k and most likely gonna just let it go because that's 4k power of guard and this Luffy will swing for 7k here and this will actually force me to throw 3k worth of guard here which is pretty wasted because the Zoro is alive I'm gonna move to 6 Dawn here for me and with 6 Dawn, I definitely can call down the ST Luffy which does have Rush which is a very strong body if you ask me. I'm gonna call down the Monkey D Luffy from the ST. Gonna use the leader skill here, remembering it to put underneath Robin. I'm gonna swing at the Zoro. Gonna use the Robin skill to actually kill one of Nami's and this is very strong because Robin's actually taking up two cards in that one turn. And the Luffy will actually swing at the life then. He's gonna take it definitely, putting it down to 4. The Luffy will swing as well. He's gonna actually use the Gordon to block it and we're just gonna pass the turn right here. Now he does have 4 life which is pretty healthy against my 3 life but he does have only the ST Nami on board which is definitely very dangerous for him. He's gonna go to 7 down here though. He's gonna swing with the Luffy at the Robin and this will ask for a 2k block. I do have the Monkey D Luffy promo so he's gonna block it very straight away. He's gonna use actually 6 down to actually call the Monkey D Luffy promo. He's gonna use both the Nami as well as the leader skill to actually attach 2 rested down to the Monkey D Luffy and Monkey D Luffy will gain rush thanks to that. He's gonna swing at the leader with 9k power gonna let it go putting me down to 2 already and looks like he is pretty much over for his turn not actually committing anything else. Now he does have 1 standing down which actually signifies for the guard point and guard point is definitely a very good 1 card for 3k power. Now to deal with that Monkey D Luffy promo with 7k base power, I'm gonna call down the Otama to actually put minus 2k on top of the uh, Luffy. So Luffy is basically now 5k power, I'm gonna use Robin to just swing over the Luffy and this will actually kill off the Robin as well as ask for Otama guard. Now with just 5k power, I'm just gonna ignore it here, I'm gonna use Luffy to actually start swing at the life because I really want to push for life here. It's gonna take one from the leader Luffy and now with 7k Luffy, he's most likely gonna take it as well unless he's gonna go for the gut point. He does go for the gut point here, making sure that he doesn't go to 2 life. Or we do have the jet pistol in hand ready to kill off that monkey D Luffy promo. Gonna call the Tony Tony Chopper for good measure and we're just gonna pass the turn here. Now on my side of the field, we do have 5 characters and on his side of the field, he doesn't have any. So this is definitely looking very bad for him, I would say. And the Robin definitely did a lot of work. I think I killed probably like 2 Namis there in this entire game. It's gonna call down the OP01 Nami, which does have a very OP skill, definitely. Looking at top 5, it's gonna pick up the ST Luffy, and most likely it's gonna call it down immediately because he does have the Dawn to do so. I'm gonna pay 5 costs here to actually call down the Luffy. I'm gonna use a leader skill to actually attach one of the Dawn to the Luffy there. I'm gonna attach more, making sure that it's unguardable so that the Tony Tony Chopper actually can't block it. I'm gonna attach actually 3 Dawn underneath the Monkey D Luffy. It's gonna swing at our own Monkey D Luffy, it's gonna ask for a 5k guard. And we do have it as we do go for the guard point as well as the Otama. We're gonna use the last remaining standing door, it's gonna swing at our Robin, making sure it's 3k guard. So we're gonna use the 2020 chopper to guard it immediately. Because we do want it to actually stay alive to kill off that last Nami on the side of the field, and of course to actually pressure the monkey D Luffy as well. And we do gonna go for our 10 standing dawn here this turn. We attach 4 Dawn to the Robin, making sure it's 8k power to swing over the Luffy. Now it does ask for 3k guard and it doesn't have any standing down so there's no guard point for him to guard. So 3k guard will actually be at least 2 cards in the hand, it's gonna let it go of course. I do have the Luffy attaching one door making sure it's 7k so it's gonna be a 3k guard once again. Given that he doesn't have any, it's gonna actually let it go. 
gonna attach two standing down to the Luffy leader, gonna swing, of course, gonna push him down to one, and we're just gonna pass the turn here. And we do have three standing down here, and sometimes it's good to leave some standing down for your opponent to keep guessing what do you have in your hand. You're gonna see him actually going for the ST Nami here, which is definitely a very interesting play because you don't really need ST Nami in the late game, given that you can just attach the one standing down anyway. So this is definitely a waste of a 1k shield which is very precious in this game. It's going to use actually the Luffy to swing over the Robin and the Robin has done so much in this game it's going to finally let it go. And you're going to see him actually go for the Monkey D Luffy with the promo. It's going to attach once rested down thanks to the leader skill as well as two more standing down to him making sure it's a 10k power Luffy is going to swing at our Luffy there and we do have two counter events here. So this total of 7k power of block. So the kill of the Nami thanks to the Red Hawk, and this is definitely not looking good for him. However, he does have one standing down as well as three cards in hand. So this game is definitely not over. But we do top that into the Monkey D Luffy promo, which does have a rush, of course. I'm gonna use the leader skill to attach one of the rested down to him. I'm gonna attach one standing down to him as well to make sure that he does have rush this turn. I'm gonna use the Luffy's first to swing at the life, I'm gonna use the Gordon to block it. So he does have the 2k shield in hand. We're gonna use the Luffy to actually poke at the one life. He's gonna use that one standing down for the guard point. So he doesn't have any 1k in hand. So this just shows that he doesn't have anything. So we're gonna attach 3 down to the Nami, making sure he can attack the life for just 1k guard. So the ST Nami he called it down was actually pretty clutch in this game if he didn't call it. Thank you, Ashra D Chess, for this game. So now let's do a small deck profile for this deck that actually brought to the flagship battle. Now this is the big Monkey D Luffy deck which is definitely very inspired by the Japan side of things where they actually start seeing the rise of the big Luffy. Now in this big Luffy deck, definitely you can see 11 cards which are very prominent which is definitely the 4 Shanks, 4 ST Luffy and as well as the 3 big promo Luffy. Now this is definitely a huge number of big stuff and this is where the leader skill really shines in the deck because you can actually use the rested non to actually make sure that your Luffy gets rushed or actually higher power and of course the one don for the guard point. Now let's take a look at the left side which is definitely the 2k shields. So he's play Otama, Monkey D Luffy promo as well as Godot. Now Otama is definitely for the good on plate minus 2k and of course it's 2k shield. The Monkey D Luffy promo is definitely, you can actually fit anything here but I do like Monkey D Luffy a lot. And we do have Gordon, which can actually allow us to fix our hand. And it does have 3k power, which is pretty decent. And you can actually call it in turn 1 if you're going second. Now let's move on to the event in the bottom. We do have 4 guard point because this is the best 1k, or the 1 card guard in the game right now, with just 1 Don. 4 jet pistol because jet pistol is super strong. You can basically take out any strong threats in this game right now, which is definitely the Queen, the Hawkins, as well as the Lord. Now we do play 2 Red Hawk here because Red Hawk does have a very good uh, trigger ability which by you actually minus 10k on your opponent. And this is definitely very useful against those kid opponents whereby they just put like 7 on underneath their character or either their leader and swing twice at you. So you definitely need this Red Hawk to actually come in clutch. We do play only one round table here because round table is definitely a very good answer for those decks that actually rely on playing big bodies. And everybody is actually playing big bodies here, basically the Monkey D Luffy's, the Kaido, the Kid, as well as the Doro Flamingos. Now we're going to talk about the big bodies, of course, start off with Shanks. Now Shanks is definitely a very decent 9 cost card. Now at the start of the game, everybody was actually against playing it because Red is always known for their rush. However, with a 10k body, you can actually easily guard it and your opponent can actually answer it pretty well. And as long as your Shanks actually got two swing in, it actually did a lot of damage already. And it can't be blocked by those small charm blockers. Now next we do gonna talk about the ST Luffy. Now this ST Luffy definitely have the unblockable attack again, similar to Shanks. However, for this card in particular, you actually can't be blocked by anything. Now, you actually can use the big bodies to block Shang, but usually they will actually be taken out by Shang's high power anyway. Next, we are talking about the Promo Luffy. Now, this Promo Luffy does have a 7k base power. And in this game, if you guys haven't played enough, big bodies on the field is actually pretty tough to take out because you're actually forcing a lot of Dawn attachment or rather Dawn commitment from your opponent to actually start swinging at your bodies. And they have to play around your possible guard point, your 2k shields. And if they commit too much non for that turn, they're not able to actually commit a new board. So that's definitely something they had to take note of. Now let's talk about the MVP of the deck, which is definitely Kobe. Now Kobe is simply just a blocker, but it does have an additional skill whereby it actually allows you to call from the life if you do actually review it. So definitely the clutch blocker coming into play can actually stop opponent, or rather being opponent pretty stunned because they actually commit the dawn halfway already, and then the Kobe just suddenly come out and opponent will have to change their move. 
Next, we do have Tony Tony Chopper, the best one cost blocker in the game. And one cost blocker is so underestimated in this game because one cost blocker basically can guard everything. But of course, against Shanks and ST Luffy, it is at their mercy. Now, next, we're gonna play for Robin because Robin is your best turn to cut. And if you actually see the game, it actually took out three Namis in the game. And bodies on the field is so important in this game because bodies equals attack and attack equals handguard. And basically, if your opponent cannot guard, they basically lose. Finally, let's wrap up the deck list by actually introducing the Nami from the OP01. Best turn 1 play you're gonna have. Allow you to search for Jet Pistol, your Monkey D. Luffy, Sally, not the Shanks. It does have 2k base power, which does mean that it actually can start swinging at your opponent if your opponent actually did not respect it enough. Unfortunately, I do not have the Astra D Chess Red Luffy deck, deck list in hand, but you guys can actually stay tuned for his deck profile, which I'm very confident is gonna drop anytime soon. So thank you guys for watching till the end and do consider subscribing, dropping a like and a comment if you guys do enjoy the content.